Hey guys, Pretzel here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be reviewing the NECA Godzilla 2019 version 2 figure. First, we will start off with the disappointing accessories. And uh, I'll get into why it's disappointing here in a second. But the details on it are pretty nice. I think it's pretty cool. The um, I do not think it's painted uh, because it's translucent. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that's translucent, but it is. From my end, I can tell. Um, I'm not too much of a big fan of this white that's on the Atomic Breath or the Blast Effect. And why I say this is pretty disappointing is uh, mainly the Atomic Breath. Uh, it is super fragile. It is separated in, in two parts, the top part and the uh, bottom part, which is... Uh, I think already cracked somewhere. Uh, I, I can kind of see a hole in between both of the uh, parts that are put together. Uh, you can clearly see the line right there. I don't know you can, if you can see that it's open, but it is, which is pretty disappointing. Uh, and I would be careful with it. You don't want, you know, your... A little kid or you know whatever your little sibling or nephew niece or whatever uh, messing with this because they could end up breaking it and uh, end up hurting themselves because I would imagine if they were to snap it it would come out as sharp pieces the blast effect is more I guess sturdier I guess you could say uh, minus these parts, these parts right here are a bit uh, very flexible. But like at the base, like right here, it's you know you're not gonna break that. Uh, again, I don't really like the white. I would have liked if it was a more of a like a. Uh, well, I guess it's kind of like a sh silver-ish color, less than a white. It looks more like a white here, but right here more it looks more like kind of like a silverish blue but if it was more like a sky blue i think it would have been better in my opinion uh but another thing that's pretty disappointing is that the atomic breath does not plug into the uh blast effect so you can just only have it hit the ground and it won't really it'll just you know be super loose or of course you can have it hitting a figure if i can get him to stand because i'm on a bed and there's like 50 bumps on a bed and the figures keep on falling you can, you can probably get it in the view you can uh Day. you know get it like that kind of like you know blasting but of course you would have to figure out a way for it to stand and you know not be like hanging down or anything like what it was doing also, I think it's pretty disappointing is that the atomic breath does not fit in the mouth all the way. I mean, it plugs in like that, but it's super loose. It doesn't just, it doesn't stay in. It just pops out like every, you know, a little touch to it. It just, you know, uh, but if you want to know how to plug it in, the tongue is like so, and there's a hole. I don't know if you can see it. And then you just, boop, right there. And, yeah, I mean, if you have it just standing, then it's, you know, perfectly fine. But if you're moving around, playing with it, or whatever you're doing with it, it's going to fall out no matter what. The paint job on this figure is, you know, obviously different from the original. Uh, the Godzilla paint job, as in, like, Godzilla skin... Uh, this is more of like a nighttime type scone, uh, skin, not scone, as you can see right here. Uh, as this is more of a daylight kind of skin tone, uh, I would imagine this is more like the what Godzilla skin tone looked like when all the monsters were, or all the titans, or whatever you want to call them, were bowing to Godzilla. This is what the skin tone look, uh, for that scene looked like. Uh, I would say that the blue that would indicate that he's supercharged isn't uh, accurate because in the movie, the 
blue on the dorsal fins is more of like in lines less than it just being all blue looking like he's about to breathe his atomic breath which i would imagine i guess you could say that that's just what this figure was going for since it comes with the atomic breath is it was going with the supercharged but as he was using his atomic breath maybe so that i guess that makes sense uh, and that's also why maybe they have the glowing um, throughout the this part of the body uh, because in the film it doesn't it's not really like that and you have like glowing parts like on the gills and and on like you know the chest and whatnot uh, but I'd say the best parts of the blue are on the dorsal fins uh, the tail dorsal fins are all right but the back dorsal fins is where it's at uh, and I guess on like this part right here of the body is pretty nice but my this the the thing I don't like about the blue is the veins uh, I do not like the blue veins at all I, I did, I'm just not a fan of that uh, some might disagree but that's just my opinion the sculpt is the exact same of the original Godzilla 2019 figure. Of course, you know, each figure is going to be some difference between it. You know, one dorsal fin will be bent and another, another one won't. Or uh, an arm won't really work as well as a different uh, figure's arm will. That kind of stuff. Uh, the thing that they fixed for this figure is, of course, the face. The eyes are not messed up, as can easily tell, because it's only like a bluish, silverish color. And the mouth looks a lot more better, because the gums are painted over. Uh, you can't really tell that much on my camera, my cam uh, because my camera isn't exactly the best. Uh, but also on my original uh, NECA Godzilla 2019 figure, the uh, mouth isn't terrible, like I've seen some others, but... It's not exactly great. It still kind of looks like a, uh, uh, what's it called? Was that parrotfish? I think that's what it's called. There's like a fish that kind of has this kind of thing going on. I think it's called a parrotfish. I can't remember. Uh, the articulation on this figure is, of course, similar, but I'll show you anyways in case you don't have the original. The head can turn like so. I think it may be able to go. 360 but I'm not gonna turn it to where it will might break the neck can move at a 360 like so but of course again the this dorsal fin uh, chips off of the these two dorsal fins right here this one and this one so do be careful about that the arms go all the way around they go out about that far, uh, looking like the uh, Bandai Godzilla 2019 figure. Uh, you can bend the elbows. My elbows are pretty tight, though I haven't done anything to warm this figure up yet, so that would make sense why it's like that. But bends at a 90 degree angle. Uh, the wrist swivels. Also, I think it swivels right here, too. Kind of. Kind of moves. And you can also bend the wrist. Though on mine, again, it's pretty tight. And also be careful of the nails. The nails are pretty sharp. Uh, the nails are more sharp on the, uh, what's that, the left arm. The, uh, what's, it, what's this called, the waist. The waist uh, goes to around 360. It can, but I'm not going to force it because I don't want to make the joint pop off. Uh, it can kind of make it look like it's going, looking down more, I, I guess. Uh, but, it, it, I mean, I guess you can kind of make look Godzilla look up a little bit, but not by much. Uh, and mine is a little bit loose. I, I think mine's, no, mine's not loose on this one. And also I noticed there's more of a gap between the dorsal fins which isn't a big deal for me and I just you know noticed the difference between that and this one there's a more of a big gap between that that could be because this one's loose uh, the uh, the legs they go move on, go 360 like so 
uh, they go, I thought they go out, I think they go out, maybe something like that, I think that's how they go out, uh, the knees bend back a little bit, but not by much, like at all, and of course they bend forward a lot, and it can swivel like so, uh, it cannot go 360 I don't think. And the uh, feet, I do believe, go up and down a little bit, but mine's very tight, so I can't make mine do it. But if I, for example, use the original, you can see that it moves up and down. That's what it would be like, because it's, you know, basically the same figure, so it's going to have a similar articulation. And the tail, uh, of course, is has no bunny wire, so it's super flexible, as I like it. Uh, it binds a bit tight right here, but if I were to warm that up, I would imagine it'll be fine. And of course, you have to put wa put heat on the um, tail part that isn't connected to the figure. And you know, I've, I've already put that piece on, and I don't feel like taking it off because I know it's gonna take me a while to put it back on. Uh, this figure, in general, is pretty nice. Uh, minus some paint things here and there, mainly the uh, the uh, uh, veins. I'd say that this figure is probably 9 out of 10, I'm going to have to go with. So it's pretty nice. The, uh, you know, uh, like I said like 5 seconds ago, the veins I don't really like. The thing that kind of disappoints me about this figure is the atomic breath. Yeah, uh, I guess this is pretty cool, but, you know, the atomic breath is pretty disappointing and I mean it looks kind of cool but the plastic is very very you know uh cheap I guess you could say so that's pretty disappointing but if you are to buy this figure you know to add it to your collection or if you don't have the original or whatever you want to buy this figure for uh I definitely go for it if you can find if you can find it in stores I'd rather you buy it from stores than you know from amazon or ebay because of the uh overpriced shipping in my opinion uh, because i instead of paying 25 dollars i have to pay 35 dollars because you know 10 dollars shipping because why not but um also the reason why i bought this figure is because i will be customizing this figure uh i'm not sure how i will be customizing it yet uh, but I wanted to buy the original, but I couldn't find another version of the original, so here we are. And, um, but if you want to buy this figure in general, for not customizing it, because I don't think anyone else is going to want to customize this figure, um, then go ahead. It's a really nice figure. Definitely a nice figure to add to the collection. Um, and so, yeah. But before we end this video, I will do a comparison between some other Godzilla figures I have with me. We have the NECA Godzilla 2019 figure, the original. You know, basically the same thing, just different paint job. Uh, though, if this one was the original, I'd probably go with this one because this one seems to be a bit better. This one seems to be a bit loose. Uh, but for the paint job, if it was, if this was just blue and then, and then the whole figure was black, I'd, I'd like this figure a lot more, if I'm honest. Uh, we also have the SH Monster Arts. Of course, I like the SH Monster Arts a lot more than, uh, any of my Godzilla 2019 figures. Because, uh, SH Monster Arts is, uh, always amazing. And... We also have the Nekamothra. Uh, here. Can't really put it anywhere. I guess you'd put it on top of Godzilla. It'd probably look a lot more better if this was burning Godzilla 2019 because of uh, what happens. And then we have Rodan. Right here. Also, before I end the video, 
I will mention that the it turns out that the neck for the Rodan figure has been uh, switched up on, upside down. This is what it's supposed to look like. Uh, I was told that all of the Rodan figures were like that. So if you have Rodan figure, turn that re uh, neck upside down and it should be perfect because this is, I guess, how it should look like. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Either way, it looks pretty normal. Uh, but I guess this is supposed to be the uh, way it's supposed to be, which is, you know, whatever. But I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, or this review. I will have hopefully some more videos coming out soon. I know I'll have at least one video, uh, other video coming out today. So uh, if you're a Predator fan, stay tuned for that. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.